you about uh, Earl yet? Yep. What, what's he shown you? Uh, very athletic, very great size, long, uh, good length. Um, uh, he's coming along. He's coming along, learning the playbook and all that stuff. But he's, he's got some tools that we're going to need in, 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 in the fall. On Saturday, Lincoln said that Tyrone kind of one of the surprises for him. Uh, what's he showing you? Just maturity. Very, very intelligent. Uh, very much for someone that played rugby all his life. He's. It's very, very impressive to see him come out and just execute exactly what we're telling. Very smart, um, and it helps. It helps with his game. And then uh, probably the underestimated thing is he's very. He's a very physical player. So um, very happy to have him. In what ways does like rugby give you? Um, but just just the the contact part of it you know you grow up playing rugby just the contact part you know you, you, you learn that you got to have contact courage to play this get both games so um, just the fact that he comes out and now he has pads to protect him a little bit but the contact is a big part of it. Can you talk about how Solomon's doing um, just in detail just I don't think there's anyone that has true USC blood more than Solomon. You know, he loves this place and, and he's been through a lot. Um, but you, you see um, you see the skill set and he's, he's exactly where he belongs now. And, and he's showing some very, very good stuff. Where would you say your group has come the furthest since the start of spring ball? Um, just the mental focus each and every practice, bringing the energy and the, and the intensity and the mindset that is that, that we really want. Um, that's probably the, the thing I'm most proud of, that they're showing up every day and proud to be here, happy, and they look forward to practice, look forward to work, look forward to getting better. So that's probably the best thing you could ask for. At least from what we've seen, we always had the Russians in practice. How much do you guys collaborate on that position? A lot, a lot. Roy helps, he even helps with the end, you know, and he, he takes the rush, but we have to be together. And it, it's a lot of people up front, so so me and, and Roy work very, very close together. But um, the rush has a little bit more on their plate, just in terms of, of, of plays and coverage, so that's why Roy's specifically assigned to them. But when it comes to pass rush and, and playing the run, we're all, we gotta be all on the same page. So with, uh, with Corey then, we can ask you, yes. uh, as he progressed through spring. Oh man, it's just the last week you see Corey participating and that just gets you excited alone, you know? And and once you see someone with that caliber of talent and skill set go up there and, and, and do what he does, it's, it's, it's refreshing and it's great. You know, it's very, very, very hopeful. We're very hopeful with it because he's, he's a special talent, but he's putting in the work now. You're going up against a running quarterback a lot in practice. Yeah. But for you as a defense, you're going to see some in the Pac-12. What yep. are the keys for you guys yep. in you stopping got, running quarterbacks? You got to be sound on your on your rush lanes. You know, on your rush lanes, you got to make sure you're sound on your gap versus the run. And then once you convert, you got you got to know exactly what what your real estate is and and be physical and be and be smart through it. You know, you can't just be undisciplined. And and going against a quarterback like ours right now, it's it's giving us the best best uh, uh, preparation for for what we're about to see. Sorry if you've already been asked about him, but what have you seen from Tyrone just over the course of this I already answered that. Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, maturity. I just told you guys very, a lot of maturity, um, intelligence, and very, very physical player. Versatile, too. He can play all across the front. Are you finding the chemistry between he and Tuli and Stanley really developing? Right that now? is exactly the goal, is to have those guys play together. You know, we are nothing if, if we don't play together up front. Um, the guys behind us count on us to get to the quarterback. The guys behind us count on us to reset the line of scrimmage versus the run. So we got to have that chemistry and, and for them to play together. You know, a couple of the other young guys from Marsicona and Kobe Pepe. Yes, they're all coming along. I'm, I'm very excited for Kobe Pepe. You know, he's, he's a guy that just sits in the back. He can't do anything right now because of his injury. But, you know, I like how his focus and he, he's dialed in and watching every drill. And, in the film, he's, he's, he's all dialed in. With Tyrone, he's a guy who you know, didn't play any football. Really yeah, I was, just, I was just telling these guys earlier that. Sorry, you, for, no, it's okay. It's just, it's just very, very, you know, it's, it's awesome to see someone that doesn't have a lot of experience come in and just put in the work and he studies extra and just he loves being out there and playing with these guys. So it's, it's good to see him. Are you getting more clarity on what a rotation up front might look like for you? <clears throat> a little bit. You'll see it in the fall. <laughs> yeah. What have you been your thoughts on Brandon Feely and his progression? Very, very excited. Very, very hopeful. Very, very encouraged. Um, 
that's all you got to tell you. You just got to push and challenge them, and, and he's responding very well. Um, now he's getting more, more and more confidence with, with the injuries he's had, but he's, he's doing a great job showing up and work. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys.